Adam and Eve, the they taunt. The, the Satan, you know, Lucifer comes down, possesses a snake, or takes the form of a snake, depending on what version you're reading. And mm -hmm. then he uh, convinces Adam and Eve to take a bite and blah 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 of the apple. And then God's like, Yo, snakes, you have to crawl on your belly for all of your days. It's like, what? So Don't apparently they had legs before. Um, they had legs before. I guess so. <laughs> said, no, so they were just lizards belly. then. So, snakes with so. legs is such a funny, like, <laughs> an image. <laughs> Have you ever seen the guy that puts the snake in the mechanical tube with legs? And, like, just yeah, like. It's just like fanny cyberpunk music starts playing. Do, 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 as the snake is just going. Oh, I love it. <laughs> But yes, uh, hello everybody, welcome to War, not Warhammer, welcome to D&D Roleplay, where I, Mr. Gris, am the Game Master, joined by Kana playing the Dragonborn Monk Blast. Yeah. Excluded, playing the Human Cleric Nolan, or is he? The dead Human Cleric. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Makaro is not in the foundry yet, apparently. <laughs> Playing we just as lost my to a demon. the human wizard. Wizard. Retard. No, I, I was setting things up. I'm just realizing now if I switch back to that profile of the demon, you guys will get super loud, and I don't know what causes that. That's, oh. that's something to investigate. And Aiden playing as the... I was going to say human, but you're a half-orc, right? Yep, half-orc. Half-orc barbarian Sam. Yep. Nice. Hello. So, last time on D&D, you followed some clues towards a magical artifact, an orb that was doing arcane powerful things. You found it in a village where all the villagers have been turned into undead creatures walking amongst the, uh, the buildings. After fighting your way through skeletons and uh, goblins, you made your way up to a room. Where stuff started going pretty poorly, where some goblins with uh, arrows were putting a stop to your progress from shooting behind cover. And amongst all the violence and the fighting, the, uh, the cleric, Nolan, took a few too many arrows and ended up falling unconscious. And no, uh, no medicine checks could save him to, uh, to stabilize him, so he ended up dying, passing away. Um... With the, uh, with the cleric dead, uh, you guys decided to hand his body over to Sam's companion, that I always forget her name, to Luna, um, so she could take him back to, uh, to the village to, uh, to hand him over to the other cleric there that you all know, because you've been, you're from the village or you've been in the village at some point. Um, and while the cleric was... The body of the cleric together with Luna traveling back towards the village. You guys decided to have a rest. Push back into the, uh, the haunted town. Deal with the bugbear boss. Crack his magical artifact. Get blasted by arcane energy. Get your ass knocked unconscious or not. And you woke up stronger. You woke up feeling like you know what uh, the potential of your character, of your class can be. And you, you have all leveled up. After which you've left the village. By the time uh, you traveled a bit away from the village into the forest and decided to have a long rest there. Because it was, it was night time by the time you went out of the village. So it is, uh, it is morning now. The day after you've had a long rest. All your stuff has reset if it hasn't uh, already. Um, and uh, for you, Sam, you did not get uh, knocked out during the arcane blast. But during your sleep... You saw a vision of yourself in your dreams, a level 20 version of a barbarian and the kind of, ab the kind of abilities uh, they can use. And you awaken feeling like you are stronger, like you have learned, uh, you have learned a few abilities from uh, seeing the potential of what you can become. You, uh, you now know how to go reckless. <laughs> Get your cock out. Damn. That's metal. <laughs> um, it is still like trickling a bit with snow it is still like the first month after the new year so it's still relatively cold out as you are uh, camping in this environment 
Meanwhile, Nolan, you the cleric, yes. you have died. You uh, you found yourself. Uh, what ended up killing you? It was an arrow, right? It was an arrow. Yeah. Find yourself out. taking an arrow. Vision goes black. The sounds of uh, combat and your party members talking, yelling, fighting starts to like fade out. Everything goes dark, and you suddenly uh, you suddenly wake up. You come back to consciousness. Uh, you are not in the house at all anymore. You are uh, you are being held by uh, Luna, um, Sam's companion, who is like uh, has you slumped over her shoulder as she's like very raggedly breathing. You can see like her breath uh, out in the air because of the cold, just carrying you towards the village. You can tell that she's been like carrying you for a while by how like tired she's looking. You uh, you feel like. Something important has uh, happened to you. You feel like you have a closer connection to your deity. Like you've had some sort of encounter with your deity, with your god. But you don't... As hard as you try to think about it, you, you can't remember it. It's like, uh, it's like, you know, when you had a dream and you wake up and you're like, Oh yeah, that's what happened in the dream. And then you think about it and you just can't remember it anymore. Yeah. That's how you feel. But you are very much alive again. Your wounds are gone. You feel stronger than before. Hmm. First thing I'm going to do when I wake up is scream, you're not taking my boots, wizard, and then kick the air. <laughs> Luna immediately like, lets go, like drops you. You fall over backwards, like pff, flop into the snowy grass on your ass. Luna just looks at you in surprise. <laughs> you, you were dead. Uh, then how am I talking to you? I don't know. That is, that's a good question. What did you say so about clearly, your boots? I'm not dead. A wizard? No, no, I got him. Still, we're safe. What? All right. What uh, happened? Where are we? Does he still have arrows in him? Uh, no. <laughs> the arrows are <laughs> on. He, he rolls and falls on the ground, just lands there. <laughs> it's like a pin cushion. No, like all your wounds have healed. No more arrows and stuff in you. I don't remember fucking cleaning him up. <laughs> What question did you ask? Uh, she's just she's surprised. She's like you, you, you were that. What happened? Uh, I remember taking an arrow. Uh, not sure about dead. Where are we? Where is everyone? I was taking you back to the village to see uh, to see Terriel, the other uh, cleric in uh, Long Lake. Why? Well, you passed away. Uh, there's customary Clearly in the not. village to take uh, to take bodies to the clerics. Normally, it would be you doing the, the task, but uh, you weren't in a state of doing it. I yeah, exactly. I still got a job to do. I don't understand. This you you were fully dead. We everybody checked up on you. Th there was no mistake. This this must be some sort of miracle. Damn, a miracle to a cleric! Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I can just feel you rolling your eyes at that. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, so the others just left you to carry me back to the village. Yes. How noble of them. Uh, very. <laughs> Is it nighttime or daytime, Gris? Uh, it's like uh, it's like morning. So she's been carrying you out through the night. Uh, how like close are we to the village? Uh, Our village, not the village that was like uh, undead. Took you probably about halfway. Yeah, it took you two days to travel to where you are now, and she's only been like traveling through this one night now, so like still like a day and more than a half to go to get to the village. Uh, so yeah, she'll look at you. And I was I was taking you back to uh, to Long Lake. It is still a it's still at least a day's travel. Do you want to go back? Yes, yes. I still got a job for the old man. Promised a lot of money. I'm not going that to waste. You want to go back to the others? Yes. Uh, they still like... Did they clear out the area or they still like fine in there? Uh, no, no. The the area got cleared out. Uh, dealt with the uh, the big bugbear. A, uh, an orb-like 
artifact got, uh, got cracked and everybody uh, got knocked around for a bit. But uh, everybody is, is doing fine for the most part now. They decided to continue traveling towards the carnival. How am I going to catch up with them now? Is there like somebody like walking down the road, Chris, with like a carriage or something? Uh, <laughs> do, do me a perception. Because <laughs> there's no way I'm catching up to the others. Perception. This is not so, so is much he, like... Is clothes heal or has he still got holes where the arrows No, your, your uh, outfit, I guess, is still very much damaged. I don't know if you're wearing any chain mail or anything like that. I'm wearing some armor. Oh, uh, was okay, scale mail. Was oh, scale. scale mail. Yeah, so like, you know, scale mail are the little like plates overlapping each other. Some of them are visibly damaged and like scuffed, but it's it's hard to like break an entire scale off. So it's still like all there. It just looks like it took a beating. Uh, Who uh, the goblins could stop them adventurers? Six, yeah, you look around, it looks like nobody else is traveling uh, on this road at the moment. Great, okay, so I'm like half a day away from the guys. Yeah, well, a night. If you a just night. go through the night, you'll catch up. Yeah, but I'll be... then get fatigued, and that's way terrible. <laughs> also, You're yeah. refreshed. You're just back from the astral plane. Yeah. You know that they are heading to the carnival, which was not that far away anymore from where they were, so they're gonna stop there and eventually you're gonna catch up. Yeah, I guess I'll just... Are you going back or are you coming with still to the carnival? You want to go. Uh, I will accompany you to the carnival if you don't mind. She still looks a bit like unsure about what just happened, how you're back alive. All right, we got a long way out of us. And, uh, Just ignoring her concerns. Out of roleplay, because we discussed it a bit, uh, you uh, you did have a meeting with your deity. Your deity has a task for you. You don't remember at the moment what uh, you talked about with your meeting with your gods and the uh, little bits and pieces of your, uh, I guess, as almost ascension to meeting your god are going to be revealed over time. It's going to like come back to you. But I do know that he tasked me with something. Yeah, but you don't uh, you don't know the details. It's all like fuzzy. All right. Pretty much uh, my excuse of uh, giving myself more time to think about something. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Chris. Thumbs up. Um, so yeah, you start traveling together with Luna. Eventually, you will catch up. Uh, back to the others. You have camped. You're all rested. Full hit points. Full uh, spell slots. Anything else that recovers, stuff that recovers at uh, first light, first dawn or whatever has come back now as well for like items and stuff. Uh, inspiration you do not get at the start of the session, but uh, I'm gonna start doing a new thing. I said this last session as well, but Kana you weren't here. Everybody gets one inspiration now, every session. But not for themselves. It's an inspiration you can give away to somebody else. If you think that they did something particularly cool. But you Just one inspiration we can give away? Yeah. And you cannot use it on the role of the cool thing you did. So for example, uh, two sessions ago, Sam did a suplex. If you thought like, oh, that suplex was really cool. You can give your inspiration to uh, Sam for being like, yeah, Sam, you go, you, su you suplex that guy. Inspiring Sam to be like, yeah, that was awesome. But uh, Sam does not get to use that inspiration to re-roll the suplex. The suplex has already happened. It's for like his next roll, pretty much. Or whatever role he chooses to use it on. All right. Uh... As for, uh, now that I'm gone into, like, discussing the rules kind of stuff, uh, been brought up that, uh, some people aren't the biggest fan of the flanking rules, so I've been thinking about it, uh, about, like, how to change up flanking, making it more, like, dynamic. I saw a thing about it online that suggested, uh, to still use flanking, because it's, it makes being a melee character a lot more fun, and they are always in the front line in the most danger, so it's good to, like, reward melee characters to be in the thick of the fight. But uh, if you are gonna flank somebody, like if you are the flanker doing the flanking, you need to make some sort of skill check to see if you can successfully do the flanking. So it's not a guarantee you're gonna flank somebody, but there's a chance you can give yourself advantage by flanking. Mm. 
that makes sense. But it'll, it'll become clear when you, like, do it, I guess. Yeah. And uh, <clears throat> every class gets their own, like, abilities of, like, this stuff gives you advantage in combat and stuff like that. Which uh, allows you to focus more on that instead of just trying to flank. And, like, D&D in general, anything that you can think of that's like, this is a cool thing that I want to do could give you advantage as well, depending on what it is and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, um, back to the camp. You're all rested. You've uh, you've waken up. Uh, do you make breakfast and the like? Yeah, sure. Oh, there's yeah. a doctor, by the way. Oh, I'll drag him over. Hello. Hello. Welcome. It is Destructor playing Pick. The fairy rogue. I keep almost dying. <laughs> but That's the life of a level one. Yeah, you're all leveled up now, so you're level two. Your stuff right. should be okay on your sheet. If anything is missing on any of the sheets for the level up, uh, let me know after the session, I guess. Uh, yeah, it was just that one skill. It's all good. Okay, cool. Uh, your health points should all be set for your health eyes and stuff like that. Should be higher than what it was before. Yep. Uh, you've uh, you've rested. You've long rested uh, during the night, uh, which is what I was just saying to the other. So everything that resets during a long rest has reset your hit points, your spell uh, slots, etc., etc. Can we attune? You can attune during the long rest. Yes. Okay. So I'd like I managed to, to get attuned to the ring of protection. <coughs> Did I manage to get any more arrows, Chris? Uh, would you have wanted to pick up some of the goblin arrows? Arrows are arrows at the moment. I have <laughs> three. So. Okay. Uh, yeah, I didn't particularly pay attention to it last session when playing as you. So roll me a d8 and you get th that amount of goblin arrows, which is just gonna be extra arrows. There's no real like distinction. Hey, you picked yes. up three extra arrows. <laughs> so you can edit the uh, quantity of the item to make that six arrows in total. Well, we we stylish now, boys. Stylish slaughter. <laughs> uh, so you are attuning to... Did you say a... Ring? Yeah. Ring of protection, yeah. I see. How does, uh, just for roleplay purposes, how does Sam attune to this ring of protection? How do you, like, examine it, go about, like, trying to figure out what it does? I'm gonna put it on my finger and twirl it around and just stare at it for a bit. <laughs> okay. I thought you were just going to put it on your cock. I thought he was going to get it up Just wash it in the river. There we go, I'm attuned. <laughs> just give it a little rub. Chris, is this weather accurate? Uh, yeah, it's like light uh, snowfall. Okay. Then my back is to the everybody in the camp, but I'm sitting staring at the snow. Okay. I'm going to need you to uh, click the tune button for me, Chris. What are you, uh, what are you thinking about while staring at the snow? I'm crying and I don't know why. Mm. The with, your, with, with your back away from the others, right? So they don't mm -hmm. necessarily see this. Yeah, it's silent tears and I'm just staring at the snow trying to figure out why I'm crying. But I don't know why. Okay, very sad. <laughs> sad times, yes. Uh, so yeah, uh, you 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 pick up that uh, wizard is like sitting separate from everybody else at the camp. Back turns toward you, just seemingly staring into the snow. Uh, Sam, you are uh, just completely occupied with looking at your uh, at your trinket, like figuring out what it does, like putting it on your finger, twirling it around. Uh, Blast, what are you doing at the camp? Eating food. Okay, do you? Uh, 
Just eat a ration? Or are you like preparing something over like a fire and stuff like that? I like, um... <clears throat> some of the meats that I've got in the rations, I'll just like... Put them in my meal kit and just... Have them over the fire, just... Okay, cool. You start like putting some meat on the fireplace. It crackles and sizzles in the uh, in the snowy weather. Uh, Pick, what are you doing at the camp? I'm probably keeping an eye out. Okay, just uh, are you in one place taking a rest, or are you kind of like fluttering about the camp, like around the uh, perimeter of the campsite, like keeping an eye out? Fluttering around, keeping an eye out. Yeah, in I uh, I don't know where it came from, but in my mind. Uh, Pick is a very, like, never really sit still kind of character, always, like, buzzing about doing something. No, that does All sound right. like him. I don't know where you got it from. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> 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 that was the whole point. That was My name's a joke on that. <laughs> yeah. I know, but Chris is like, I don't know where I got that from. I do. <laughs> <laughs> Just, like, carrying around a, uh, those, like, flowers that you blow. I forget what they're called. Nah, and he sort of randomly turns into a chestnut. Mm -mm. <laughs> um, very whimsical, happy character in a whimsical, happy anime. <laughs> yeah, nothing bad happens. Observe. Everybody should check it out. It's for uh, ages twelve and up. No. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. Highly recommend. It. That's the one with a skeleton, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah there are skeletons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah there are some. <laughs> Uh, there's farmers doing farmer things. <laughs> but yeah, uh, you've rested, you're camping, you're making some food, you're inspecting your trinket, you're staring sadly at the snow. Uh, mm -hmm. Some time passes, would any of you be interacting with each other, or are you just all doing your own thing until you pack up camp and just start traveling? Well, I'm doing my own thing unless anyone wants to directly talk to me. Damn. I'm eating breakfast. But what about second breakfast? That comes after first breakfast. Though I might chat up Wizard if I notice he's looking a bit melancholy. Uh, oh. Out of curiosity for you, Blas, uh, your character, uh, Blas, the uh, the monk from the village, the glass blower from the village. Oh yeah. You said you uh, you specifically went with the uh, with the group to make sure that the cleric would be fine because he's from the same village and you you know each other. You have some like investment there. The cleric died last session, but you weren't really there to fully, like, respond to it. So now that I've got you here as a player, thoughts? This shit real weak. <laughs> uh, no, um... No! Yeah. What about Padme? Yeah, so, uh... Yeah, again, like, I've... <laughs> I've only got one thing focused in my mind at the moment. <laughs> And that's the task that I'm doing. I I'm not giving myself a chance to think of anything else. Because then, if I do, uh, I might realise that uh, I failed in the thing that I was trying to do. And uh, that will make me sad. And sadness will make me even more sad. Hmm. Okay, so you're so, uh, mentally, purposely busy. Yeah, choosing not to respond to the situation. To, like, to not let it soak in that somebody has died. Okay, cool. It's not very healthy, but that's what I'm doing. Yeah, good, good advice. <laughs> push it down. Yeah, just yeah. push it down. If it comes back up, Ever just push it down there. harder. <laughs> and I think ever went wrong from ignore, you know, just ignoring a problem. Just yeah, yeah. Uh, so how long would you spend uh, just relaxing at camp? There doesn't... Uh, your your passive perception isn't picking up any dangers uh, surrounding the camp. No, like, immediate wildlife or goblins or anything like that. You seem to have, like, a moment of uh, respite of rest that you can just hang out and, and uh, chill here, uh, for the lack of better words. Uh, for the sake of Eden, an hour. <laughs> yeah, an hour so he can, like, attune to his thing. Oh, At least been, like, uh, do, doing... If no one bothers me, I'll get up. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, I no, dust the snow, snow off me and uh, head over to the group. I look visibly sad. <laughs> I'm not happy. Um, not so sure. Shall we? Shall we continue onwards? 
something on your mind with it? Uh, more or lack of something. I'm, I'm very sad, and I don't know why. I, I mean, I, I know we lost the cleric yesterday, but I, I barely knew Clive. I mean, he seemed like a nice fellow. But maybe the boots. Clive. Oh, the boots. Yes, yes. I never got to tell him that was a joke. Hmm. Perhaps that, perhaps that created a guilty conscious feeling for you. Hmm. Perhaps it's something to do with the weather. Uh, uh, so the tip of my tongue. I'll think about it on the way. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I'm just gonna ignore. He called me Clive. <laughs> I was doing it last session too, and they didn't pick up on it. I kept saying Clive, and I said, "Are we going to head to this pumpkin patch or what?" And everybody was like, "What?" I don't want to bring it up because I want to see how long it's going to last. I'm just rolling with it for the sake of keeping Wizard's feelings intact. Carry on, Chris. I ain't gonna lie, that did ping up on my radar, but yeah, again, I'm keeping my mind fucking focused here. I'm like, oh. I wasn't here, but we gotta tell. I know Excluded didn't want I, to I, I showed him uh, the, the part of the stream if you're talking about Nelson. <laughs> Nelson! No, uh... <laughs> Are you being Nelson? <laughs> He's so confident. <laughs> yeah. 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 Did you clip that? I gotta see it later. Anyway, show me later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, God, that's so funny. Um, so, yeah, uh... Oh, you uh, you walked up, wizard. Uh, you're you're sh visibly being yeah. a bit sad. Asked the others mm. to continue going. Uh, Pick was the only one that responded. That was like, "Are you okay?" Kind of deal. Yeah. Uh, um, I said I don't know. It was something to do with the weather. Yeah. Uh, if if nobody else has anything to say, you start slowly packing up camp, getting your stuff. Uh, do you all have like a backpack uh, with like camping stuff in it, or like your belongings, or is it more like strapped around your uh, your person? Uh, let me check. I got to start. Is um, Pick carrying like a tiny, fairy sized bag? It's a tiny, fairy sized bag of holding, so oh. it can fit all the stuff. Not real, but that would make sense for my size. Yeah. <laughs> Just like I can fit an entire sword in here, full sized as well. <laughs> yeah. Fairy magic. Full sized for a fairy. Plus, then I can just fly over someone and pull out an anvil. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, yeah, cool. You all get your belongings ready. You start uh, heading back on the road again. Traveling towards uh, the carnival. You will arrive there uh, during this day. Uh, you are not that far off anymore. As you get closer and closer, you hear the uh, voices of joy and excitement, the whimsical nature of a fairy-type uh, carnival. We better bring steel and poison types then. <laughs> <Back sick. laughs> oh, come on. Yes. Got it. Catch them all. Well done, Gretchen. <laughs> well done, you literally got the base, the base, base knowledge of it. Good job. You're always called Atch Catch him because he's going to catch them all. Ooh. He never does, though. So. Listen, no. he, f he finally did the whole league after 20 years. Give the man, you know, at least he managed to do something <laughs> by the end of it. Mm. And now a woman's the main character. Is she black, Connor? Do you hate that? Is she, is she a black woman? Is she empowered? I don't know. I haven't seen it. No, me either. I just know she has the grass I type. I don't know. Do you know Japan? <laughs> As I say, there was there was a mm. woman and a man. That's that's all I know. But anyway, uh, carnival. Oh, yeah. Pretty light. I Badness. saw. I don't follow Pokemon that often anymore. But I saw like that Ash is retiring and like yeah. a cry face like reaction. And then uh, the next picture was like, and Team Rocket is also going away. Even more cry face. They mm. were the best villains. Um, they were the same villains for two decades. <laughs> yeah, but they were so oh, they're, the best. they're consistent. Give me yeah. a Team Rocket origin story, full anime. Let's go. <laughs> I mean, well, they, they, they did. did. We get they little bits. Did, yeah, we get little bits. Yeah. But I'm saying full show. James, James was had he is a growl or something. Kid. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was very yeah. rich, but he ran away from home. <laughs> yeah, because uh, he was gay. Ja yeah, uh, Jane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, even though that isn't correct. Uh, Come on, Jesse. Jesse was uh, wanted to be a nurse, but uh, he's not shagging Jesse. He's gay. 
I'm sorry. Sorry. It's, it's There's actually an episode where he gets really upset that she's going to leave him for another man. <laughs> but he's like, "Yeah, go. You'll have a better life." And then starts crying like a little bitch while he's running away. I'm yeah. like, "You." Right, can we go to this carnival? <laughs> yeah. So you you approach the carnival. Um, it is a fairgrounds of kaleidoscopic tents and wagons screwed by wondrous beings, including many denizens of the Feywild. This is no ordinary carnival. It uses magic to travel from world to world across the martial plane. Material plane, rather, not the martial plane. <laughs> only ever on marshes. You know that the carnival only visits the world every eight years. Mm. and just spends a few days at each location. No uh, specified amount of days. But you arrive to see that the carnival is still here. This is like the uh, book cover art that the carnival is from, to give you like an idea of how whimsical it is. But you don't see this exact scene at the moment, but that's how they travel between worlds. That fox has butterfly wings. <laughs> Everything has berries. butterfly wings. <laughs> Yeah, they all have butterfly wings, yeah. Yeah, even the carriages. You're tough old. Very beautiful. What did they use instead of the butter? <laughs> uh, Alright, yeah, Katrina London. <laughs> you, start, you start to arrive very early in the morning, like... 8-ish in the morning, you don't know the exact time, but it's still relatively early, but there's already a lot of people here. The carnival is uh, in full swing, looks very active. Uh, mm. You see, uh, like most carnivals, uh, the road leads straight towards a ticket boot. Yeah, of course. Sure. Well, perhaps this will lift our spirits, I know we're here for a task, but doing a game or two wouldn't go amiss. Why are we here again? The pumpkin patch. You just like slow blink, just one. No, no, we came here because. One. No, no, wizards, try to remember. We came here because the guy in the pumpkin patch needed our help to re recontact his. ex wife. Close. His patron. Why's he got Same an ex wife? That was the thing, wasn't it, Chris? I'm not just blanking on that. No, you're, you're right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you are correct. <laughs> yeah, but I'm his patron saying, might be same, his ex-wife. He didn't specify that. <laughs> it's a contract that you can't get out of, no matter what. And she tells you everything. Sounds like marriage to me. Yeah, it does sound similar, actually. Now I'll think about it. Is that the Pixie Kingdom with the bubble pop teapot? <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, let's see how much it is to enter. One. That music is way too loud. <laughs> yeah, you'll have to manage that for yourself. There we go. Uh, uh ticket booth. Yeah. Dragonfly the, ride. Um, <laughs> yes. The the map here and the tokens on the map is more for me to be like Blas is currently at this right. Mm. You're currently at no, that right. Lost and found. You don't need to actively <laughs> move yourself. <laughs> You don't need to actively move yourself around <laughs> on this map. It's just for me to keep track of where you are. area. <laughs> Snail racing. Snail racing. <laughs> Mystery mine. Okay. Oh, I'll mind my right. business. Let's, let's approach the ticket booth. Who uh, fucking moved me back? I was at the ticket booth! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just say where you're going and what you're doing. You don't need to actively move your tokens around. It's just uh, uh, for, for me to put you at certain places and stuff. Wow, a merchant already gone. <laughs> Will you be Theater our mind. white monarch? Okay, I'm over here, Chris. A silver statue of a dancing fairy is mounted on the roof of this ticket boot and surrounded by fluttering butterflies. The boot is decorated with an animated depiction of the night sky, with shooting stars arcing across it. An elderly goblin perches behind the ticket counter, peering at you quizzically through a spyglass. He lowers the spyglass and calls out to you, Greetings, fair fair gores! Uh, greetings. Uh -oh. I'll say in Goblin. Oh. You speak Goblin? That is uncommon for your kind. He responds to you in Goblin. 
I think several of our, my friends can. Or was it the dead guy? Very impressive. Oh, well, thank you. I am. Uh... Would, you say, would you say this is a good goblin that we've uh, come across? It is a goblin from another plane, so maybe they're good there. You don't know. <laughs> but he looks uh, very old, very wrinkled. In this plane of existence, those that are adventurers that have traveled the land know that uh, seeing an old goblin, not common, because they, yeah. they tend to die pretty young. <laughs> mm. I'm, j I'm just getting a, a memory popping where I was told that there's n there's no good goblins out there, so we should kill them all. <laughs> there isn't. I'm like, oh, Once again, shit. these always explain to you it's from another plane. You know this carnival's not from this reality. Yet again, goblin. Yeah. That's racist. Might raise a, an eyebrow upon seeing this goblin. Mm -hmm. uh, welcome, welcome to the to the carnival. Are you here for a ticket to enjoy our many rides and shows? Um, yeah, so we could definitely do with a break. Ah, I see. A uh, ticket for an adult is eight uh, silver pennies, and a child's ticket is three silver pennies. Uh, I'll take one, two, three. Three to adults and one child, please. <laughs> Wait, who's the child? Shh. <laughs> <laughs> As I sh sh shush the pixie. He oh, looks at your group. Uh, I see. Um, how many did you say? <laughs> Three adults? Three adults and a child. Okay. Uh, for the three adults, that will be 25 silver and uh, three for the child. Wasn't it brass pennies a second ago? Uh, no, silver. Silver pennies. Son of a bitch. <laughs> uh, Alright, how, how much was it, Chris, in total? Uh, everybody. For everybody, it would be 27. I will put down three gold. Ah, uh, thank you very much. Um, we will give you three uh, silver back in change. Cool. What would you recommend first for uh, an, an adult? Hmm, there are many fun things to explore at the carnival. Uh, but uh, which one would be the best is hard to say. I would say visit them all. Try your chance at uh, the things you like. Um, Have you been working this festival long? Uh, yes, I have... Uh, I have always uh, been the ticket master here for as long as I can uh, remember. Do I look familiar? Hmm, we get many people that uh, come and go. It's hard to say. Hmm, well, thank you anyway. Uh, have you seen any fairies? A female one. Looks a lot like this fella here. Hey. Uh, there are indeed some fairies at the, uh, at the festival. Uh, some, ah, uh, some... Adults, some with their children. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, thank you very much. Um, if anyone else, uh, do you have any questions? Uh, uh. Yeah. Here are your tickets. He gives you all uh, your tickets. Uh, accompanied with the tickets comes a uh, a map of the uh, of the carnival, and uh, you uh. you all get a pair of colorful cloth butterfly wings to wear. Uh, okay. The butterfly wings must be worn to show the staff that you are paid at the knees. Ah, okay. I'll put the wings on. <laughs> it's just oh, looking at this like, how do I fit this behind my regular wings? <laughs> Double wings. The carnival issues fake butterfly wings to every visitor who receives a ticket. Visitors are expected to wear their wings or at least carry them around. While inside the carnival, the tickets and fake wings are yours to keep. Um... Okay. Is uh, is this map? This map? Yeah, pretty much. It's like a, a Disneyland style map, like this map, where it has like the attractions and stuff on it. So if we complete these tasks here, we become something called the Witch Light Monarch? Is that correct? Uh... Or is it just a matter of a random thing? Like, uh... I see that at different times here you have 
uh, big to topics traffic. I would say it says to start here at the welcome gifts. And then uh, at the yes. end it says crowning of the witch light mark. There are many events uh, during the carnival. This will uh, become clear as you uh, partake in the uh, in the games. I see. And then you get something if you complete this challenge or whatever. Uh, there might be a grand prize awaiting the grand victor. I see. Very interesting. Oh my. Um, here's your ticket, by the way. Um, Thank you. I have no more questions. Well, th thank you very much, and uh, yes. I hope to speak to you on the way out. Enjoy your stay. Remember to keep your tickets on you and your wings on you. You don't necessarily need to wear them, but carry them around so that we know that I'm you around. are uh, a true attendant. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Where's the pixie going to wear them? I brought this up already. Yeah. <laughs> you can wear them like um... but I can, But I'll probably just hold them by my sides. Okay. <laughs> if I would put it on the front wing and so the front wings. Wheel front wing wings. The... <laughs> uh, okay, I'm going to head in. Yeah. Same. So uh, from here on out, you are uh, in the uh, in the carnival. You are free to go uh, where you want to go. Um, Past the ticket boot, the first see the first thing you see is uh, the Calliope. A uh, a merry tune spills forth from an instrument on the back of a brightly painted wagon. A monkey wearing a cloak covered with buttons turns a handle at the wagon's rear, sending music into the air from rows of golden whistles. As you watch, a goblin dressed as a ladybug toddles up to you, rattling a tin cup. I put three brass pennies in it. Is this like an or one of those old organ grinders? Yeah. Spare a button, if you please. I'll sew it next to all of these. I offer nothing in its place beside a smile upon my face. I'll give her three copper pennies and just put it in the jar. It smiles. There you go. <laughs> Bow back, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> and yeah, you hear the music of this... Uh, Calliope. I'm not too sure how to pronounce it, but it is like a wagon with like a big wheel at the end that the monkey uh, is spinning. It's like pretty much like a big like organ oh. kind of wagon deal. You hear the music oh, all over the uh, carnival. This is pretty much like playing uh, playing the music for the carnival. Calliope, apparently, according to text speech. Calliope. Yeah, I've never heard of it either. I mean, I've seen one. I think we would call that an organ grinder, I think. Uh, right. Well, we just had breakfast. Um, where would we go for welcome gifts? Is is, is the map the welcome gift? Hmm. What do you guys map. think? Hmm. They've probably got a gift in there that was lost. The lost property, you think? Maybe. Hmm. Maybe we should just ask this one. I'll go up to the elderly goblin working the Calliope or whatever. Yeah, a, a goblin dressed as a ladybug. <laughs> yeah. So, excuse me, I'm trying to figure out how these challenge things work at the different times. What is welcome gifts about? Where, where do we go for that? Uh, the welcome gifts. Top left of the map, it says start here, welcome gifts. I'm following this timeline, that's what I was talking about earlier. See where it says different, uh, like, two, three, four, five, like, something's supposed to happen? They are, uh, the stuff at the, at the corners is, like, for me as the DM to track passage of time. And during certain periods of time, stuff oh, happens. Okay. So okay. That's and, what I was saying, is this map, this map? I was like, what is the witch like? Yeah. That's what I was and now we're in small gifts are handed out to lucky guests and stuff like that. Ah, uh, okay. So uh, this stuff isn't part of the map? No, the corner bits oh, are. Okay. I was just talking about like the center. I was I yeah, was zoomed yeah. in. I didn't have it like fully uh, open. <laughs> you were just probably you were like, how the fuck does he know about the witch light mark? <laughs> yeah, I was like, where did he see this? <laughs> <laughs> it's on the map, Chris. That's why I was asking. Is this map accurate? <laughs> okay. Sorry, um, I didn't realize it was in the you. corners there. I get you. Okay, so I don't know that. All right, all right. In that case, I'm just going to wander aimlessly and see if the guys follow me. 
I was just going to go to Pixie Kingdom out of morbid curiosity to see what it's about. Oh, good yeah. idea. Though. Maybe I'll find my fairy. Uh, there. I'll follow the pixie. You got one map as a group. So who is the map carrier? I guess. <laughs> I guess me, since I. No offense, of wizard, but I'd rather tickets. I'd rather it be someone who will remember they have the map. Well, I'm currently holding the map, which I have to ask, because I definitely paid for the ticket, so I've got the map, bitch. <laughs> mm. If you want to hold the map, you're going to have to ask. I'm too small. I'm carrying <laughs> lots of cold. I can hold the map if you want. Sure. I'll just turn it around. Where do you want to go? <laughs> <laughs> the Disneyland dads asking the family, where mm. are we going? <laughs> I believe uh, we're heading towards the Pixie Kingdom. Just to give it a good check out. Okay, let's go then. Okay, I'm gonna... Oh, don't move yourself, it's fine. I'm just gonna put you all at the Pixie Kingdom. I was wondering, is it racist to ask what's the difference between a pixie and a fairy? Extremely. Yeah, no, that's why I, that's why I haven't asked yet. Oh god, I'm, uh, I'm still debating. I have two Sams now. It freaked out. Oh god. Well, I only see one. Damn. Yeah. One must see this. One. There we go. It has updated. All the way. Uh, so yeah, the pixie kingdom is in this like little inner circle area that also has the bubble pop teapot that you uh, that you see as you approach the pixel kingdom. What is it? The bubble pop the bubble pop teapot <laughs> is a 20 foot tall teapot that rests on a wooden platform. It is its painted surface whirling with moving imagery of flying dragons breathing streams of bubbles. A door at the base of the teapot mm. allows entry into its interior. Those who enter Find out what happens when you enter. <laughs> you go in, but you may never come out. I'm it's a still fizzy and lifting drinks. Let's go in. <laughs> it's, it's a ride. Uh, a ride costs one ticket punch. Okay, I run. Oh, I walk up and I punch him. <laughs> no, that's not what a ticket punch means. <laughs> we punch your no. ticket. <laughs> we I punch a that. hole in it. <laughs> uh, all right, I'll hold up a ticket. And you see on the ticket, it has uh, eight marks for uh, holes. So you have uh, eight uh, ticket punches that one ticket can hold. Hmm. It's funny that there's eight marks up there, Grisham. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking knew that's what you had to do, because that's what you do at every fairground. You, you go do all the rides and you get a prize at the end. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'm going to get my ticket punched, because this is, this is normal shit for real, bro. I'm going on the zone. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Prizes, baby. Blas, are you following the group as well into the twenty foot tall teapot? Sure. This... With a mockery of your ancient race that you're descended from. <laughs> yeah, dragons images on it. <laughs> yes, really. Yes. A lot, a lot of racism right now, but yes, going with it. I don't want to be the party pooper. Okay. Ticket mm -hmm. uh, right costs one uh, ticket punch. Hmm. I'm gonna need a way to keep track of uh, how many ticket punches everybody has. I know how to do this. There you go. One. <laughs> okay, I guess I'll have to like scroll up uh, later then. That, that's fine. It's a mate of... Nice. And pick, can you put a one in the chat as well? There you go. And Nolan is still traveling back to the carnival, just fighting hordes of goblins on his way here as you guys are in a teapot. You can do it, Nelson. <laughs> uh, those who enter emerge from the spout, uh -huh. enclosed in a bubble that detaches to float oh. off across the carnival. Seven goblins sit around the platform, sipping tea from mismatched porcelain cups. So you get put in a bubble and start like woo, mm -hmm. floating around. Um, I can already do this shit with my wings. <laughs> this ride costs one ticket punch. The ride is managed by a friendly goblin non-combatant. I like how it had to specify non-combatant. Named Freaklewise, who wears bright, bright yellow butterfly wings and carries a string of teaspoons on his belt. Seven more friendly goblins sit and chatter around the giant teapot while sipping tea. Um... Yeah, so you've approached, you've got your ticket punched. Uh, 
you notice that the uh, the goblin in the bright yellow loves to speak in uh, in a rhyming slang. Are we still in bubbles? Um. How is it to breathe in these, Chris? Yeah, are we just so, floating around the carnival? Now? Just, just to go back a bit before you go into the bubbles, the uh, goblin oh, that's before. Yeah, the goblin <laughs> that punches your ticket. You notice that he likes to uh, speak in rhyme. The words that you intend to say, try saying it a different way, and stuff like that. How do you engage? I think rhyming can be pretty gay. Ah, he gives you a handful of leaves. Oh, cool. <laughs> Chris, smell them. Do they smell stank? Uh, kind of smell like smells like tea, like tea leaves. Ah, do I recognize them? Um, to me, survival. A's. survival nature. nature. Yeah. Nature. That makes more sense. <clears throat> oh, 22. Ooh. Yeah, you. Uh, I like you... the tea. Here comes Thomas. <laughs> uh, you recognize these as scatter leaf uh, tea. The leaves of mm. this uh, of this tea are set to uh, imbue you with uh, protection from evil and good if you sprinkle it on the ground around you. Oh, okay. Should I add him for this or should I add it? Uh, I've no, I've no pre-made item for this, but it is spelled like this in the chat. Scatterleaf okay. T. Oh yeah, I'm gonna whisper you something. I forgot, about, I forgot to actually send it. There we go. I think that'd be funny. <laughs> Beefs for thee. Uh, Better leaf tea. Say, so, yeah, you, uh, you see Wizard make a rhyme and the goblin hands him a, a handful of, uh, <laughs> of leaves. Uh, do you, how do you, how does uh, Sam, Blast and Pick react to this? Or do you just get into the teapot in your bubble? <laughs> uh. <laughs> no, I'll just get in the bubble. Okay, uh, you, you just walk past, go through the door. Any large or small creature that enters the teapot is enveloped in a magic bubble that floats up through the teapot's spout and into the sky, granting its occupants wonderful aerial views of the carnival. When the bubble pops after one minute... You die. You die. You just smash onto the ground <laughs> and you die. <laughs> no, so you're like, you're just floating around for like... A while in the sky, in your bubble, you have no control of like where the bubble goes. It's not really like floating around far. It tends to stick close to the uh, to the teapot. You're just kind of like above its spout, just floating mm. around. You have no control of the bubble at all. Does this uh, does this worry you, Sam? Are you like panicking in the bubble? Are you just kind of sitting down like, yeah, I'm in a bubble now. <laughs> Yeah, I'm in the bubble now. Yeah, I would see. also I would also rhyme at the goblin out for fun. <laughs> okay, what do you say? Give me a rhyme. Uh, of your curious curious to, of your curious ways I must petition. I wish to learn this strange tradition. Oh, very good, very good. And he also gives you a handful of leaves. The same mm -hmm. uh, scatter leaf tea. Alright. You can also make a uh, nature check if you uh, want to know what they do. Okay, yeah, you also know of scatterleaf tea. You've heard of it before. You sprinkle it onto the ground. It gives you protection from uh, evil and good. Some people believe it's just uh, superstition, but you as a fairy, you know for a fact that this actually works. That it does give you protection from evil and good for uh, 10 minutes. Oh, is it, is it similar to the spell? Or cleric uh, incantation, whatever way you want to call it? Yeah. Okay. Cool. It gives you the spell effects for uh, 10 minutes. Hmm. That's neat. I get my bubble. Whee. Anyone else going to try and rhyme at this guy? <laughs> oh, because um, uh, you're a fairy, you know more about this like nature stuff. Uh, you also know that uh, to get the effects of this tea leaf uh, of the spell, you have to stay in the circle of tea leaves. You can't like move out of it. And uh, a little side effect of uh, the protection from evil and good spell using the scatter leaf tea it gives you a uh, a cup of hot, delicious tea that magically appears in the protected creature's hand. Hmm. 
oh wow, you're just British gentlemen all yeah. the time. <laughs> Oh, yes, that's what, it was, that's what it was like back in the Fey Realms. Yeah, and you, you both get like a handful, which is enough for one use. Uh, so Sam got into the bubble. Pick and uh, Wizard are talking rhymes to the goblin and then also going into the T-spot, I guess? Yeah, I got in the bubble. And Bless, are you uh, doing a rhyme or are you immediately going into the teapot? Leaves, I see. Is that the treasure also for me? <laughs> he gives you a handful of leaves. You also get scatter leaf tea. You can also do a nature or something similar. Uh, check to see if you know what these leaves do. Everybody was getting leaves, so I wanted some. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nature. Normal. Yeah, everybody was getting leaves, so I wanted some fucking leaves. Nice, you got some leaves with your uh, with your six. You don't really know what they do, but they smell nice. Don't inhale them. I... Oh. <laughs> don't smoke them. Can yeah. I boil them? <laughs> he gives you like a paper and uh, other stuff to like uh, smoke it. No. <laughs> uh, uh, they are not for boiling, uh, the goblin says. What are they for then? Oh, you'll be left toiling. I'll get an extra one for that. <laughs> it just spikes you in the face. <laughs> it is believed if you throw it on the ground, it's protection all around. What would happen if I tried to uh, pop a uh, half orcs bubble, I wonder? <laughs> <laughs> so, can, they be, can they be smoked? No. Well, haven't tried. Great. I'm right, gonna start running paper. in the spot and see if I can run, make the bubble move towards Ian's bubble. Okay. So just to uh, like fucking, just like a, like a hamster in a, in a ball. Just to be clear, to make sure we're all on the wavelength. At this point, is everybody in the bubble above uh, the teapot in their own bubble, just floating yep. around? Yeah. Yes. Okay, yeah. Uh, so uh, you can make me a uh, acrobatics check, uh, wizard, okay. to see if you can uh, make the bubble move in the direction you want. Oh, I can. Ooh, <laughs> and that's ready. Uh, oh, <laughs> Pick is also trying to move his bubble. As you see, uh, I'm used to flying with my own wings, not this. <laughs> as you see, wizard like. Running in the bubble and seemingly <laughs> gaining the ability to control the direction of the bubble. Uh, Sam or Blast, would you like mimic this as you see this happening? There's also like other people in bubbles around you. Like this is a carnival attraction. There's like a few bubbles floating around. Just kids going like Wah! in their bubble. I'm heading like as fast as I can towards you, Sam. I'm just still just sitting. Oh no, in shitting in the bubble. <laughs> That's got a stick, man. Oh, we gotta clean those bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, they the clean bubbles. themselves once they pop. <laughs> no, they don't. That's just gonna. Yeah, I'm just laying in that my bubble. That was a big like bird. bird. <laughs> <laughs> I say, like, I'm, I'm just enjoying being able to, <laughs> in quote, fly. Called the bubble pop teapot. I want to see what happens if it pops. So I'm gonna try and pop them. <laughs> Oh my god, so you uh, one of our party members. <laughs> you've successfully done oh. successfully done acrobatics. You have gained control of your bubble and you can steer it and um and pop it over any location on the carnival map. Any location on the carnival map? That, that's what it says. I say worried. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't I... even have to worry if I can't control this thing because I can just fly on my own once it pops. Hmm. Give me a second. <laughs> what would cause the most mayhem? <laughs> Are you still going towards Sam? Well, that depends. Do I spot any uh, schmexy little tieflings running around? Uh, hmm. You see the entire... Like, you have, like, an aerial view of the carnival. So you see the yeah. entire carnival. You see, like, crowds and stuff walking. I'm going to say that there's, like... People from all the races of D&D &D are, are hmm. here. So you would definitely spot some, like, tieflings in the crowd and stuff like that. I don't know if okay. any of the uh, rides are being manned by tieflings out of the top of my head. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to try and pop, uh, pop Sam's bubble. 
Oké. Okay. Jullie just run the bubble over. The two bubbles kind of like... Yeah. Uh, uh, collide into each other. Bubble? Yeah, they do the thing where it like... It starts Yay! to absorb. For like a second, you're in like the same bubble, the two of you. I, I, I was collapsing, I what the fuck? I get passionately close to Sam's face. <laughs> <laughs> I, oh, hi there, Sam. What the f- Oh, dude. As, uh, yeah. as wizard is right in your face, the bubble pops, and you both start yeah. start falling, and uh, you <laughs> you automatically uh, have um, you feel like you're floating gently towards the ground. Yeah, hey, I know this effect. This is featherfall. How did they put that in a bubble? This truly is otherworldly. <laughs> kind of lay back on then. <laughs> Just <laughs> on your back, floating down like a feather. I'm still holding him, by the way. Like all, like legs wrapped around him, arms wrapped around him. <laughs> Get off me! Resist. I thought this was romantic, but all right. And I stand on him like a surfboard. You start floating down, and after a minute, <laughs> Bless and uh, and pick your bubbles pop as well, respectively. And you start floating slowly down towards the uh, towards the floor. I fly at my own speed, and I'll just accelerate forward and stop them before I hit the ground. Yeah. Would slow fall like cancel out the ability of being able to like fly fast? I don't know. That's a good question, actually. I'm gonna say like you definitely because you're under some sort of magical effect. You definitely feel like resistance as you're trying to fly at your normal speed. It's it's all is flying fade. Yeah, it's almost like it's very mm. windy, but it's just you don't really feel any wind at all. You just get a lot of like resistance, so you're flying slower than normal. And bless, you start slow falling down to the ground. So if I breathe fire right now, would it look like a dragon? <laughs> you see, like, other bubbles pop around you and people, like, slowly gliding to the ground. Everybody cheering, very happy. You land uh, close towards the uh, the Pixie Kingdom. What if the Pixie King's around? <laughs> we don't have a question. king. If it's called the Kingdom, I wonder if there's a kingdom. Like a king for it. Yeah, and, and as you were... Uh, the whole monarch thing. Wait, as aren't you a fairy? Yeah, we don't have kings. We have democratically elected tyrants. Well, I pixies <laughs> are different to fairies. So, yeah, what's the difference between a pixie and a fairy, then? Or are they both the same? Is it just a different name? Like, how, how does it work? It's kind, of a a it's kind of a subspecies thing. I don't actually know. They are, so, they, they are different. Pixies are smaller than fairies. So, is it like a dragonborn to lizard folk kind of deal? Kind of, yeah. Like a dragonborn to a uh, kobold, I guess. Mm. Except kobolds have a significantly larger degree of porn about them. Oh. Porn? Why? <laughs> Why kobolds? Okay. I um, have no idea. Sexy <laughs> little lizard man? I don't, I don't know, man. Mm. That's weird. As you float I'm down, that oh, yes. as, as you slowly float down, you see like the pixie kingdom from uh, from above. You notice that the uh, there's a circle of uh, oak trees sheltering a miniature fairground at at its heart of this uh, pixie kingdom forest. Man, mm. this is the first time I've ever felt like a giant here. Yeah. So is it like a pixie, like for pixies to ride in? Like is it like little cups on a wheel, or uh, is that big enough for us to get on? It's like a miniature version of the uh, fairground. As you take like a better look, you see like mm. a hamster running inside a tiny Ferris wheel, encircled by minuscule wagons and candy stalls. A pixie <laughs> sits cross-legged in the hollow of a tree at the entrance to his realm. Are pixies bigger or smaller than fairies? Smaller, significantly smaller. Oh, okay. So I actually feel like a giant here for the first <laughs> time in my life. Well, the first time in this dimension, so to speak. I'm mm. used to it being the other way around. <laughs> you gotta go pick them on them. Knock over their shit. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a big boy now. Them. Oh, yeah? Do the small thing and lay down near it. <laughs> oh, hello there, big one. I am Jeremy Plum. What? Then my name is Jeremy Plum, and you have come to the best attraction that the whole carnival has to offer. Entry is only one ticket punch. Cl quick, clip it so it says you have come. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Jeremy Come. Jeremy Come. What, what, what do you have to offer? I, I think we're a bit big for those rides. 
I believe ah. they're about to use shrinking magic, if I'm guessing correctly. Indeed, we can use our pixie dust to bring you to the same size. What about if I want to stay my size? Then this yeah, ride, then lines. this attraction is not for you. Mm, okay. I think, I think what happens if he shrinks? I point to the fairy. That's actually a good question. Would I be too small? <laughs> <laughs> he ceases to exist. <laughs> he goes into think... the quantum realm. <laughs> I think I'll skip that particular pleasure then. <laughs> Yeah, you have to be tiny size. You are like, um, for all intents and purposes, small. the player race as fairy still counts as a. Is it small or was it still medium? Should be on I your sheet. Was, I thought it was just small. It says small. Uh, yeah, then you are uh, you are small. You are one size larger than tiny. So taking this dust will just make you tiny. Oh, okay. The effect of the dust is it makes you tiny, regardless of what size you already are. I'll do it. I'll be a small little salamander. Ah. Welcome, Mr. Dragonborn. Um. Before I sprinkle you with my dust, I highly recommend you adopt a pixie name for yourself before entering. Pixie. <coughs> do you have, like, a specific theme or something? Uh, you can make up your own, or you can roll on this chart of eight options. <laughs> roll. I have a dice, it's a d8. <laughs> <laughs> Ch Ch sure, I'll, I'll, I'll roll. Nice. Just a d8. Nice. Oh, I thought you were fucking rolling. Oh, no, no. He, he hands the, the dice to you. No, he's the dice to give you. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I should have been clearer. I'm oh, just holding it, looking at it like, oh yes, you roll these, of course. Yeah. <laughs> How do you roll mm, something yeah. with these many sides? Mm, mm, yes, the floor here is made out of floor. Your pixie beep beep. Oh. <laughs> your, beep, 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 beep. <laughs> your pixie <laughs> name <laughs> is Panache. What does Panache mean? Yeah. Oh, it's a very good pixel name. It means noble warrior. That's not what that word means. No. <laughs> that's, what, that's just what all y'all hear wizards say that. No, it isn't. <laughs> what language is... Wait there, what language is... The pixie just looks at you pixie. and then does the like, sign um, of like, shut up. <laughs> okay. say, what language is a uh, pixie, Chris? Punch my ticket and I'll shut up. <laughs> what language is pixie? Um, uh, the language... Um, that fairy speak. I forget the D&D &D name for it. Oh, Sylvan. Fate? Sylvan. Speak? Oh, Sylvan. I was going to say, is it Sylvan? Is it Celestial? I believe it is Sylvan, yes. Yeah. Clive. <sighs> Clive. Now, I, I don't believe him, but I'm going to take his word for it. Probably means like <laughs> penis or something. Uh, so you agree to your name? He uh, sprinkles you with pixie dust. You shrink down whoop, to a tiny size, and he also hands you a uh, appropriately sized uh, potion. Oh, thank you. Oh, see you guys in a bit. I pick him up. Hey, let me go, you son of a bitch! <laughs> I put him back down. <laughs> <laughs> I got the welcome to out. my welcome to my world, I say to him. <laughs> and I smush him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, scratch that! I I read that okay. wrong. I mis I misunderstood. <laughs> he sprinkles you with a he sprinkles you with a pixie dust. The pixie dust gives you the ability to fly at a flying speed of thirty feet and the ability to hover for uh, one minute. Ooh. And the potion that he hands you is what shrinks you down to tiny. Okay. No oh, time. I can fly. Yeah, so Makes you, sense. Mm. Eat a pan thing, pixie dust. You are small and you can fly. Ah! <laughs> I'm a dragonfly! Oh, I think that's the idea, yeah. <clears throat> I'm gonna go on the ride, Chris! Yeah. Oh. You, you flutter off, you disappear inside uh, the uh, the pixie kingdom <laughs> as uh, as Blast flies off ahead. What's the rest of you doing? Getting tackled. Oh. Oh! Is this uh, a is this a character moment? Yeah. 
I'm okay. gonna go check out the. I don't know about you lads, but I'm gonna go check out the snail racing. Seems like a real hoot. Hmm. A real hoot. You're not going into the uh, pixie kingdom. <laughs> nah, I've seen it now, and it's well, it's still cool because for the first time in this world, I get to be the big one. <laughs> Daddy. Uh, well, you should, you I'll you turn to, to go. A, a tiefling tackles the, the wizard mm. and says, Father! And just knocks him to the ground. So, blah, what? <laughs> what? That sound effects. Okay. Super <laughs> I don't think Ian's not saying anything easily. Like, oh. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm doing that. I noticed in, you are. In game, <laughs> in role play, like, I'm just. Okay. Relaxing. <laughs> I was in a bubble. <laughs> <laughs> and I slid it down. I had four biscuits, then I ate one, then I only had three. A tiefling lady tackles wizard. You hear her audibly yell out father, like everyone can hear this. Wizard looks extremely confused and the wind is knocked out of him as he falls to the floor. Um, how big is this out? woman? Five oh. foot one. Is she an adult? Yeah. Watch out, Aiden's gonna try and fuck okay. your daughter. I'm gonna pull her off you. Oh, okay. I didn't want to like start pulling you off her and then find out she's a kid and I touched somewhere by accident. No. <laughs> I don't want no charges. Let a random fucker like uh, uh, try to take her, so she's going to struggle. Oi, right, get off the wizard. Who, the hell, who are you? This, 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 this is my father. Get off me. Get off me. Dad, what are you doing here? We've been looking all over for you. She's shaking him and like. <laughs> She's just, he's just like, he's like, uh, uh, sorry, uh, do I, do I know you? Well, what's her, <clears throat> what's her response to that? <laughs> she, 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 she looks worried. <laughs> the moment that you, when you have to roleplay with yourself. <laughs> I know. And the guys aren't saying anything, so I've got nothing uh, to work with here. I mean, I'm not sure what to say. I know, I know. I know. By I the know. Small, but... but uh, you, I'm like, not hit. I look here. confused. What yeah, Blast, Blast fluttered off as a little pixie. He's in the forest now. I know. Yeah, so I can't, I can't help you with this role play. It's between uh, I'm just two other people. <laughs> uh, I knew you had memory problems, but I uh, didn't know you didn't know you didn't know you'd fathered a tiefling. I just thought you some I, kinky I, shit. I don't. I, I have a I have a son. Um, Father, what what are you talking about? It, it's me. It's Snow. It's your daughter. You don't have a son. It's just me and mom. But he still looks like he's giving her like the squinty eyes. Like he, he's not sure like what the hell's going on. Um, Bridget, do you need help? Uh, please, please. And she gets up and she dusts herself off, and she's just like. Uh, maybe I should start over from the beginning. Uh, my name is Snow Emberly, as she gives like a, a, a low bow. She says, uh, this is my father. Uh, have you been traveling with him? Have you been looking after him? Mm. Yes. Right. Uh, 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 first of all, thank you. Thank, thank you very much. That's much, much appreciated. Uh, he's unfortunately in his later years losing a bit of his mind. Um, he sort of wandered off. I'm not sure what he's... He's never forgotten me he's forgotten memories but he's never completely forgotten me before uh Not tragic I, I, I don't i don't know why he's saying you have a son why do you think you have a son father he's like uh, my son uh, glenn he's uh, he died she looks even more confused she goes wait are you talking about the children's book you used to read me and he's like again confused and she she pulls out like a, a like a book. It's got a pristine sort of like cover, but the books you can see they're yellowed and frayed on the inside. And she flicks it open. She goes, y "Yes, yes." Um, uh, actually, I think I wrote this down. Actually, hang on, mm. give me one wee second. While uh, prepared something. Yeah, while wizard is while wizard is looking up the backstory. Just uh, I know time wise yeah. it's a bit fast, but just so that you can actually uh, play a bit excluded. Play. You and Luna yeah. arrive at the uh, ticket booth. Of the uh, carnival. <laughs> we killed so many goblins. <laughs> you made it here alive. 
Um, how many goblins did you kill along the way? Uh, how many was there left, Chris? No, it's, it's, it's up to you. Give me a number. <laughs> how, uh, uh, how much fighting have you been doing while you were traveling? Considering four of them managed to one-shot Aiden, I'm just going to say three. Three goblins? Yeah. That seems fair. <laughs> That's a fair number. You arrive uh, at the ticket booth. You look a bit worse for wear. You look like somebody who has taken some uh, arrows to their armor. Um, you see the uh, the old goblin uh, with his spyglass at the ticket booth. He lowers his uh, spyglass. Greetings, fair, fair gore. Welcome to the carnival. Would you like to buy a ticket or do you have a reservation? Two tickets, please. <laughs> Ah, uh, two adult tickets. That would be um, 16 silver. 16 silver. Are you paying for uh, you and Luna or uh, yeah. are you just paying for yourself? Okay. I'll pay for me and Luna and I'll give him one gold and six silver. One gold and six silver. Okay. Thank you very much. And he hands you uh, the tickets that has uh, eight tickets stamp spots on them and uh, a pair of uh, of wings for each of you uh one question if you don't mind uh yes you saw like well look like a group of adventurers like four of them one is a dragon board the other one is a half orc mm. a little fairy many adventurers visit this carnival you'll have to be more specific Well, one of them carried a big-ass trident. One of them has a big tattoo and has a half-orc down the side of his face. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of describing him right now. <laughs> I know, but the, uh, I think the trident is, like, <laughs> is not, not as distinctive as the big fucking Mike Tyson tattoo. I'm One's a big, a big <laughs> red lizard. Hmm, a trident. Yes, uh, a half-orc, right? Yes. Oh, yes, they came through here uh, earlier this morning, a few hours ago. They should be uh, exploring the carnival at their leisure. Uh, How long were they we in that bubble? <laughs> specifically where they were going to go? Uh, no, no. Uh, all right, thank you. Well, at least I know they're here. Okay, keep uh, keep your cloth wings on you. It's uh, to show that you are a uh, attendant. <laughs> Am I forced to wear or can I just keep it on my side? Uh, you don't have to wear them, you can just carry them, just uh, do not uh, chuck them away. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, you have entered the carnival as well. You are free to explore. You want to go and find uh, your friends, I suppose, but uh, if you've ever been to a theme park, finding somebody in a theme park is a pain in the ass, so it's gonna involve some roles. Yeah, uh, I'll just go to the mill over here and then just take a look at the map. Figure out, oh, this oh, yeah. is you also like got given a map because you are a separate group. So you have technically two maps now in your uh, group of players. All right, what's over here, Chris? That is the. I've already forgotten how it was pronounced. The, the Calliope? It is a, uh, a little oh, wagon that enough. spits out uh, <laughs> music. A bit of monkey spinning at the back, like. Um, monkey. Producing the, the music. It's a monkey. <laughs> it's a, more specifically, it's a baboon. And he wears like a little name tag that says Ernest. Uh, that's cute and funny. <laughs> so Ernest. And he has like a, a little cup that uh, he goes around like uh, asking people for some uh, donations. Shut up, all on silver. <laughs> And uh, there is also a goblin dressed as a ladybug going around uh, with a cup as well as the monkey goes so back to playing like music. Uh, can I talk to the goblin? Uh, yeah, yeah, you can talk to the goblin for sure. You put some, uh, you put some money in the cup. Yeah. And uh, you did as well, right, wizard? Yeah, I think it was like three copper pennies. Okay, cool. Uh, definitely not important. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I'll just put one silver. I don't have any copper. Okay. Uh, I'll just ask him the same thing I asked uh, by, at the booth. 
Um, about uh, the half orc with the trident. Yeah, or the red dragonborn, a small fairy. Okay. Uh, Someone who we... looks like an old wizard. Charisma mm. or persuasion? Persuasion. God damn it. A ten. Uh, yeah, the, the monkey, Ernest, uh, <laughs> comes up to you. The baboon named Ernest comes up to you. Um, he uh, <laughs> he uh, looks at you, and to your surprise, he kind of like speaks with the voice of like a middle-aged man. What does he say? He's like, uh, oh yeah, you, you looking for someone? Uh... I stand there for a chuckle, a couple of seconds, be like, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm looking for four group of, like, an adventurous uh, group of four. One is a half-orc with tattoos and a big trident, a red dragonborn, uh, a small fairy and a wizard. Hmm. I think I seen uh, a group like that earlier. Would you, you mind... Would you mind doing me a favor as you're exploring the uh, the carnival, and I'll tell you which direction they went. Oh my god, what, what do you want? Well, you see, this body is uh, it's actually the body of my pet monkey. I am a uh, I'm a leprechaun, but uh, my mind got stuck in the monkey, and the monkey in my leprechaun body ran off somewhere in this carnival. Uh, if you just want to keep an eye out, see if you can find it. He should be carrying a great quantity of brambleberry wine. Can you describe how you look? Like a leprechaun. <laughs> uh, a, s a small little magical man. <laughs> Where's all green, ginger hair. <laughs> Someone fairy orc. Uh, I'll... You want me to just like knock him out and bring him to you? I'll try to bring him back. You don't need to knock him out, but if it's necessary, I suppose. All right, I'll do it's, the it's, best. It's just a monkey in a leprechaun's body. It shouldn't be too much of a hassle. Well, you'll be surprised how much uh, aggressive monkeys can be. No, this one is a domesticated one. So domesticated, it stole it your ran off. Yeah, it ran off my wine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just, oh, uh, so one... just an alcoholic. <laughs> while, you, while you're looking for your friends, keep an eye out for, uh, for the leprechaun. Uh, <laughs> Don't tell me where my friends are. <laughs> yeah, so a group traveling over there, and he spouts towards the uh, big teapot you see in the distance. Thank you. Okay, and as you look you, at the teapot... You'll stay here, right? <laughs> Who, me? Yeah, you, you're not... Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm like... staying here. All right. <laughs> As you look at the uh, at the big teapot, uh, we cut back to a uh, wizard and uh, the stiefling lady that has uh, jumped him, and uh, Blast being in the miniature town, and everybody else <laughs> looking at wizard and uh, the tiefling lady. Oh, yeah, uh, I guess she'll say, um, what's your name, sir? She walks up to the half-orc. My name's Sam. Sam, Sam. Uh, you see, this is sort of why I'm here, Sam. It, this is kind of what I thought he might be doing. I, I start flicking through the storybook and you see that it's like it's a picture book that's been drawn out and like a bunch of words are down the side to say um, uh, it's a story about uh, a wizard who goes uh, to a small town and befriends a barbarian and he has to save his barbarian's magic pumpkin patch by going to a festival. Okay. So I thought that maybe but he'd be here if he got confused again. He does tend to get mixed up between stories of the past, but... That is very sp sp <laughs> That's very on point. What's happening right now? Yes. What do you mean? Like, I mean, uh, it starts off. He comes to the village. He's starving of hunger. He yeah. gets up to the barbarian's uh, hut and he steals a pie from the windowsill and eats it all. In order to pay him back, he helps him L save his magic pumpkin patch. A little bit different there. I give him a pie. You Slice a pie. You gave him a pie. You're a barbarian. Okay. Yes. Oh, I just. Thought you were a bit of a <clears throat> exhibitionist. No. <laughs> ah. And we got a mission from the pumpkin pumpkin patch guy to come to here. Ah. Huh. The old That's... wizard. 
I see. Well, in the book, the barbarian owns the pumpkin patch. Uh, maybe a coincidence? Uh, I, I just thought he might be here because I didn't know where else to go, and it's nearby our homestead. Uh, we live just over past the river. Oh, yeah. um, he's been missing for about three days. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I'm glad to see you're all right, Father. And she gives him a big old hug, and he's, he's starting to, like, sort of, like, click that this is actually his daughter um, after hearing it? the story, but he's still looking, like... Confuddled. The little, Anything in that book about killing goblins? The little pixie, Jeremy no, Plum, will be, really will be like, uh, Excuse me, gentlemen. Uh, you are uh, you're you're holding up the line. I don't mean to interrupt this reunion. It seems like, but do you want to enter the pixie kingdom, or are you uh, are you going somewhere else? Go yeah, somewhere else. Uh, I think uh, I'll, uh, I'll I'll try it later. I I, I need to speak with this uh, with with my daughter. Yes. With okay. So if the snow. Yeah. Right. <laughs> you move out of the line. Uh, meanwhile, in the Pixie Kingdom, uh, bless. Uh, the Yay, Pixie Kingdom Pixie is a tranquil oasis compared to the rest of the bustling carnival. The air is filled with the aroma of blackberry wine and flower blossoms. Eight brightly painted doorways are nestled in the bark at the base of the surrounding trees. And there are like pixies fluttering around. Uh, they're friendly, curious, and eager uh, to ask you all sorts of questions. So as soon as you enter, like, they fly over and like, Oh, a new pixie resident. What brings you to the pixie kingdom? <coughs> Games? Games? Oh, we... that up. That's very high. <laughs> <laughs> games, oh, we do, we do like games here. Uh, would you like to write Pinecone? Sure. Pinecone. And a, uh, an excitable pug, like the dog, uh, comes running over with, like, an adorable little saddle on its back. <laughs> it's a spinecone. He's been trained to uh, give our visitors a, a ride. Um, he only listens to pixies. Oh. Can I stroke him? <laughs> yes, yes. You, you, you get onto the pug, the pug gives you a ride around uh, the pixie kingdom. You see the uh, the twelve, uh, the, the eight, sorry, brightly painted doorways nestled in the bark of the bases of the surrounding trees. You see uh, at the center is a, uh, a pixie palace made entirely of old cocoon husks beautifully woven together. You see like little, little restaurants serving like different kind of like sandwiches and stuff. You see a uh, uh, the wheel that the hamster was uh, running around in. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> that's the best role playing you're going to get. Yeah. It's just me doing a higher pitch. I do apologize, but that's the best I can do right now. Uh, yeah, would you like <laughs> to uh, go to any of the places I described? Um, do I want to recommend? Getting even higher now. <laughs> yeah. well, it's it's all fun over here. Uh, just go whatever you, you think would be the most fun. Oh, I've got a hamster. What? Ah. Yeah, so you didn't even pick that one up, did you? <laughs> You're gonna yeah, so high we can't pick it up. I'm gonna go to the hamster. Oh, yeah. Um, you go to the hamster, uh, and you uh, you can ride the wheel, which is powered by a hamster. Uh. You, you do not... Do you have um, the ability to talk to animals? What? Because I'm a fucking lizard person? <laughs> Just wondering. Oh. Okay. Even without the ability to talk to the hamster, to your surprise, the hamster is talkative. It, uh, it looks at oh. you as like, Hello, welcome to the hamster wheel. My name is Biscuit. I'm a hamster. Oh, fucking hell. You are. And he's speaking, in, he's speaking in common. I'm not gonna lie. Would you yeah. like to ride my wheel? Yeah. And it's like he's running in the hamster wheel. There's like little little seats in it that like you can sit in, kind of like a um, what are they called? The big wheels, like the Eye in London and stuff like that. A Ferris wheel, powered by hamster. <laughs> Ah, um, the pixies, uh, they have uh, bestowed me 
With the gift of uh, the ability to speak common, I believe they used a spell called Awaken. Oh! Okay, what's that do? Uh, I don't understand the details of it, but uh, from what I understand, it awakens one's, uh, one's mind and uh, out of roleplay, it gives things an intelligence of 10 and the ability to speak common. <laughs> I'm going to put my, noise, uh, my voice back to normal because uh, <laughs> I'm straining my voice actually doing it that high. Jesus. <coughs> Okay, just um, just imagine my voice is high. Okay, and as you are uh, you go in the wheel, you're exploring the fairy kingdom. After a short while, <laughs> the fairy kingdom, <laughs> the uh, uh, pixie kingdom, that's what it was called. After a short while, uh, you are invited to play a game of hide and seek, organized by uh, two pixies. Uh, the game's friendly supervisors, Honey Mint and Starbug. Wow. Do you uh do you play with the pixies? Sure, I've started now. I'm down <laughs> this rabbit hole. Okay, cool. Uh so that is gonna that's gonna start. Uh while we're doing that, we cut back to a uh, wizard and uh this new tiefling lady. Um yeah, we'll go take a seat. I'm gonna sit down somewhere. I'm gonna She'll, she'll try to like convince him that he needs to go home um uh, and she'll ask if the group comes over with it so um what have you been doing the past few days uh, you said you've been traveling with him yes why why did you decide to come to the carnival like i said i just thought he'd be here because we live very close by we had a, a mission to come to here and uh hmm i don't know exactly the mission uh, mm. let me think. Can I do a history to find my member <laughs> medicine? Uh, yeah. <laughs> you, what, uh, sorry, what do you want to do with history? I need to remember why he's here. What the, what the mission was. Uh, um, come here, I know that, but to... It was said earlier. Sure, you I can use history for that. I would say it's more general intelligence, but you can... History is more for, like... You know, when investigating like an old rock to see if you can recognize the history from it. But when yeah. does history start, Chris? <laughs> you can you can use history for it. It's it's fine. I use intelligence is exactly the same. Yeah. Okay. Just if you have any proficiencies in history. A sure. ten. A ten. Mm, very like middle of the road roll, average. Uh so you wanna know like why you're here at the carnival? Yeah, I don't remember as I know we need to come here. For the pit, like to go to a different universe or something like that, different yeah, plane. Kinda. Yeah, well, with, I don't know what is that. With your ten, that's exactly what you know. <laughs> you know that you're here yeah. to travel to a different universe or something like that. Because yeah, the man looking... at the uh, pumpkin patch asked you to. So you're I'll looking to them. follow the carnival back to where it came from? Yes. Oh, you'll have to gain favor with them. Um. Has my father agreed to do this? Did you agree to do this, father? It's like, uh, yeah, yes, I believe so. Yeah. I don't, you see, we lost one along our way. Our dear cleric Clive, he, he was a good boy. Um, but, you know, he died to goblins, as 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 one happens in this world. And uh, I just, I, I feel bad just uh, not to complete the task. It's like, but mother's worried. You need to go home. But I'm, I'm sorry if he's agreed to something, but I, I need to take him home to mother. Um, but I, I'm a traveling adventurer myself. If you'd be so inclined, I would happily take up his debt of honoring his friend's memory and accompanying you to this other realm. I'm very curious about it myself, uh, but I, I do need to take him home now. Um, but if you're going to be here, I could I could be back within the hour. Hmm. Uh, I don't know if you've done it already, but uh, what does uh, what does this tiefling look like? Like, what are the others uh, looking at? Pretty much what the token is. She's got white hair. She's she's wearing the sim similar clothes. She's got a long sword on her hip. Um, she's got a backpack over her shoulder. It looks like she was planning to like look for her father for quite a while. Um, she's got two. Uh, she's got an instrument on her back, a, vi a viol, you know, like a violin. And, Visible uh, instrument, got, yeah. 
Mm -hmm. Yep, uh, she's got a flute and a, like a little flute, like uh, she's got a pouch for it on her hip on the opposite side of the longsword. Uh, she's got that book that she showed you. Um, she doesn't have any scars or anything. She looks pretty... Uh, she is what she is. She doesn't look like she has any malintent or anything. She's, she seems very innocent and bright, uh, very confused by the situation, but she does look genuinely curious to like go on an adventure with you lads. She might just be using this as part of an excuse. Yeah. Any armor? Like leather or anything like that? Uh, she's wearing leather armor, like, like, she's just a lot like, like her badass. token. She's wearing, like, a leather jerkin, and she's got, like, or, or, or just her pants on and stuff and that sort of stuff. Okay. She doesn't um, look like she's uh, been in many a fight. But does look like she's dressed for adventure, kind of deal. Yes. She looks like she was definitely dressed to, like, go on the road. Okay, cool. I will accept that on one condition. Mm hmm. I won't sleep with you. I, I'm fine. No, I, no, I, I, I'm I not. Crazy. Not that. She puts have, her hair out of her face. <laughs> I have promised your father uh, dad, yes. some pumpkin pie when when we return. Ah, I'm sorry. He does love his pies. Yeah. So maybe once we return, we go to the, my village and I give give you all some pumpkin pies. <laughs> <laughs> and the wizard jumps into the into the tent. Yeah, as they're talking to each other, you see a familiar face walk amongst this little uh, circle area of the bullet pop teapot and the uh, pixie kingdom, uh, accompanied by Luna, not being think... dragged or carried, actually walking. <laughs> There's no snow uh, jumps out of her uh, skin when her father just suddenly jumps behind a barrel. I uh, look at the leaves I was given earlier. Like, did they cause this? <laughs> What's wrong? It's well. It, well you all look like you've seen a ghost. I scared you work when I yelled. <laughs> oh. Ah. Oh, speaking of which, he should yeah, be speaking here. of York, actually, where is York? Yeah, he should. But be he, got, uh, he got. Uh, he oh, got. Yeah, popped, he got right? popped. Yeah. He got popped. He's gone. Oh no. Yeah. Maybe anyway, we can bring him back. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot about that. Never mind. There was a, there was a thing. Dead. Yeah. You died. You're a ghost? Yeah. So Luna I walks up. Uh, so about that, I was carrying him back to the village and he just jumped back up. It's it's scared the living life out of me. But he's, he seems well enough. I've traveled with him all the way over here and he seems to be himself. Is he getting into any trouble? His eyes are glowing. <laughs> Whoa, what do you mean getting into any trouble? No real trouble, no. Some, some goblins. goblins. I turn around to any goblin near us. I'm so, I didn't mean you a lot. <laughs> no, right you're racist. Offense taken. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was surprised that that, that, that gra grave cleric came back from the dead. Like, come on. Yeah, you clearly see, like, on his outfit, on his armor, like, where his wounds was and stuff like that. Like, that's still there. Uh, uh, I shouldn't look a gift horse in the mouth. <laughs> I'm a little confused as to what's happening right now, to be honest. Whoa, 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 whoa. don't <laughs> accuse me of such thing. Yeah, would you, uh, I don't know, would you use some sort of, like, skill trying to look at uh, Nolan? Are you, like, Using trying to use like an arcane to see if he's like magical or anything like that, or or a, a survival and insight. Uh, I want to see if he is uh, undead. Okay, how are you uh, gonna go about doing that? Are you gonna just walk up and feel his uh, pulse? Right, I'm gonna ask the weave. Oh, the weave. I'm gonna ask the weave directly. Uh, is this boy, is this boy brought back by necromancy, the filthy, disgusting necromancy, spits on the ground. Yeah, so depending on how you want to do this, I guess to be an arcane, if you're tapping into the magic to sense this, or religion, if you're doing more of a, uh... Gods, what is this? <laughs> I'm going to use that re-roll that I have since wizard, wizard, I'm getting retired. <laughs> okay. Yay! An 18, a six success. You tap into, uh... Your understanding of uh, the magic, the magical forces around you, to sense... Like, you've, you've handled necromancers and stuff in your life, you think you know what kind of energy they uh, produce. You don't sense any of that coming from uh, Nolan. 
Wir haben oh, schon sorry. Bier. Coming from oh. Nelson. Ah, ja. <lacht> ah. Well, Charles here doesn't seem to be a dumb dad anyway. Who the fuck is Charles? He's forgotten his own name. No, I haven't forgotten you, my own name. His name. <laughs> what? What the hell have you been calling me this whole time? Gregory? <laughs> I mean, Nolan. He, he, Sam says your name is N Nelson. I don't know. Sam, how dare you fool an old man? I'm confused. <laughs> so, can we go how home? dare you? <laughs> um, Look what you did to him. So, so yeah. Uh, meanwhile, Blast is playing hide and seek with the fairies in the small kingdom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's a euphemism for getting fucked in the ass. Oh right. no. Probably. <laughs> Works out then, doesn't it? <laughs> yes. So, as you partake in this hide and seek, are you uh, gonna be the hider or the seeker? The giver or the taker? Uh, are you gonna be the top or the bottom? Big spoon or the little spoon? You know what? <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna hide first. Okay. Oh. Oh. In a closet. Unsurprisingly, you have to make me a stealth check to see how well you're hiding. This is bullshit. <laughs> this is discrimination. Uh... Stealth. A 12. You're like, um, where would you hide? It's up to uh, you. Like, are you hiding behind a tree? Are you ducking in a barrel, like in a wagon, like stuff like that? Just hiding under one of the wagons, just laying down. Okay, you go under the wagon. You see the uh, pixie that was designated to be the seeker, Starbug, uh, flying around, getting dangerously close to you. You feel like you're about to be discovered as she pulls uh, a pixie from underneath the wagon next to you. Aha, found you! And they, they move off, they flutter away into a different direction. You have not been found. Turn in the back, I'll never find you then. Yeah. So now with that uh, revelation, more pixies are becoming uh, discovered. Do you stay where you are, or are you going to try to relocate and find a different spot? I'm going to try and move to where he was found, because why would they look there again? <laughs> why would they look under the same wagon twice? Okay, you can make me another stealth, but this time with advantage. Oh, stealthy as fuck, boy! Let's ready, you disappear. <laughs> I just like grab some of the foliage, <laughs> just pull some of the grass yeah, on top yeah, of me. Yeah, the tea leaves. Yeah. <laughs> Sprinkle them on him. <laughs> uh, yeah, you hide under the wagon. Time passes, you hear like more and more other pixies getting uh, discovered. Eventually, announcement rings out that uh, everybody has been found. Uh, Except for you, uh, Blast, you have been. Uh, <laughs> they forgot. <laughs> they've like, they've got like a list of who all participated, and they they uh, announced that you have won the hide and seek game. <laughs> you are awarded a packet, like a little pouch of pixie dust. Yeah, I got that dust. And uh, and two leaves uh, <laughs> that uh, gets handed to you, and the uh, pixie that hands it to you says, uh, "Here, have these two leaves. They can serve as propeller blades." I'm sorry, what? <laughs> <laughs> well, we just do. We just go. What, what do you mean by that? To make it look like uh, the leaves are propelling you while you are flying using the pixie dust. Oh, that's cool as hell. <laughs> okay, yeah, can you put that in chat, Chris? Uh, yeah. In a bit. I'm just waiting for one of these, yeah, I'm waiting for one of these days where you'll be like, yeah, no. <laughs> oh. Does Pixie dust what? exist? Oh, no. Of course not. Probably out there, but... Oh. 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 I wonder how, what the rest are getting up to. <laughs> yeah, um, now that you've uh, won the hide and seek game, do you stay here, hang out a little bit more with the pixies, or are you ready to uh, leave and regroup back with the others? I guess, uh, I guess I better go see the rest. 
Come on, everybody! Thanks for having me! Oh I slowly turn into Mickey Mouse. Oh boy! <laughs> You're right! Copyright! Okay, there we go. You You're should right. have. Copyright. Not anymore. Well, yeah, he's not copyrighted anymore. Yeah. You should have a. Uh... Oh, you should have Dixie yeah, Bust. Pixie Dust whoa, in your inventory. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> what the fuck, Chris? Excuse me? <laughs> what do you want? Dixie... Uh, nah? What the fuck? <laughs> I, I got the letter screwed up. I said Dixie Bust instead of Pixie Dust. I don't want any of that uh, Pixie Dust. <laughs> I'm just flying over. Yeah. As soon as you leave the Pixie Kingdom, the effect of the potion immediately wears out, and you uh, oh, no, no, no. you grow back to your normal size. Was his deck tiny at that moment? Yeah. Yeah, I think it was like, uh, I was going at full <laughs> speed, Chris, so I'm going to bump into any of these characters. I'll let you roll to figure out who that is. I hope his dick, like, shrunk with him as well. Can you imagine being shrunk to Pixie size, but your dick stays the same, so you're just, like, dragging around your dog? <laughs> well, what do you think I was hiding under, Chris? That's, no. not, that's, that's not worse if it was the reverse, Chris. That's not my dragonborn tail. <laughs> if you shrunk down to your small size and then when you got bigger, it's tits. <laughs> yeah, you just have like Chris. a pixie sized dick for the rest of the session. <laughs> yeah, Chris. So uh, I was going at full pelt when I was flying, so yeah, I'm probably going to end up knocking into uh, one of these lot. Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, roll me a d6, wizard is 1, snow is 2, sam is 3, pick is 4, luna is 5, and nolan is 6. He's gonna smash the face. Smash it to luna. Oh, no. <laughs> Straight to the woman. Luna shows up with nolan, has a look of like, oh, sam's talking to a woman again, as sam's like talking to snow, and then blast, you just grow and smash into her. Let me smash. <laughs> uh, you're like Not uh, just straight into a bubble. <laughs> <laughs> into the teapot. <laughs> I just, I just uh, reiteralize, just in place where a bubble pops, so it looks like I've come for a different reality. Why are you oh. popping up out of everywhere? This, you like knocked her over. It does this like typical like anime thing where you both fall over and you're kind of like la laying on top of her in an awkward position, and you 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 look at each other. It's like get, get off me. Yeah, I'm sorry. <clears throat> the teapot starts I'm, wobbling. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll, I'll offer to help her up. Yeah, you uh, extend your hand. She like grabs it. You pull her up. Thank you. She dusts herself off. Where did you come from? Well, over there. As a point to the Pixie Kingdom. Oh, well, I'm. Uh, Baz, I've returned. I have, I have Nolan. <laughs> and Nolan's uh, not dead. But, Hello. Uh, this is what happens when you leave. <laughs> Goes into Your Pixie like... Kingdom, comes back, everything is different. <laughs> <laughs> you were gone for days, where have you been? <laughs> you see the reptile brain like ticking here as a nosebleed is uh, happening. It might have happened when I crashed into her, or yeah, is that because just like, it? <laughs> yeah, somehow you have a child now and the person who's dead is now back alive. Like, it's all in your head. It's all a dream. Don't think about it. <laughs> the leaves. Just general, yeah, just general shock. <laughs> you travel to a like... different dimension. Uh, like we're, we're all the same, but I have a daughter, he's alive, and we all have mustaches. <laughs> <laughs> I'll wear this mustache. <laughs> we all oh, have wings. Sam? Yeah? What the fuck happened? Oh, how long well, was I gone for? Not that long. So, what happened is Snow tackled her father. Do you know she's Snow? Yes, yeah, she said uh, I, I know now. Yeah. She's uh, she's called her to introduce herself as Snow Emberley and give him a bow. Okay, just double check it. Yeah. Pleasure. Okay. Uh, she nods. Thank you for looking after my father. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. And Nolan just returns. Hi, Luna. Hello. Yeah. I'm not sure. You, you seem to be under the impression that this young man was dead. Uh, I'm, yes. I'm confused. No one's really explained to me what's going on. I mean, well, he, 
he died last time. Yeah, supposedly. A couple of days ago, or well, yeah, a couple of, a, a day ago, he died. I'm not gonna lie, like <clears throat> he looked like Doesn't one of those, uh, yeah, one of those yeah. dead goblins before. I, I poke him in like his, his the shirt, and his, like his shirt hole, just poke, poke. Does have a hole in that? Poke another man's hole. <laughs> no wound under the uh, shirt hole. It seems like completely healed, to the point where there's like not even scars or anything. If there was a wound there, doesn't look like he's even been injured. Yeah, see, you guys just, are just crazy. didn't read his pulse. <laughs> no, if, if empty was dead, a lot of blood was pouring out of him out of so many different orifices, and he did have an arrow to his head. Maybe he's a woman. I re-look at him. Does he look like a woman? Do you, Nolan? <laughs> kind of. <laughs> sure, with the long hair, yeah. Mm. <laughs> Looks like he'd be one of those Japanese fed boys. A pretty boy, yeah. Yeah. I, I'm actually a boy, even though I'm dressed as a cat girl or whatever. <laughs> Seven. He may, he may be a woman. Yeah? Hmm. Oh, I do see bumps down there. Whoa, 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 whoa. 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 Sexual harassment. Stop looking at them bumps. I'm not saying this, I'm just looking at you. With my dragon eyes. <laughs> yeah, that, that's sexual harassment. Damn, you're not even allowed to look anymore? When, uh, yes. <laughs> when traveling with Luna to this place, Luna would have asked you along the way, like, what the last thing is you remembered happening to you? What is the last thing you remember happening to you, Nolan? Well, according to you, I don't remember anything. It's just that I got shot. So you do remember getting shot, okay. Yeah. As for the whole goth thing, uh, you said I don't remember. Yeah, that you don't know. Well, I know it happened, but I'm just not sure of it. Are those my father's shoes you're wearing? <laughs> no. What makes you think of that? Yeah, you said, you said that uh, someone called uh, Sam stole the shoes. Yeah, Sam is right there. Oh, you stole the shoes, Sam? I didn't steal no shoes. Oh. Are you lying to us, Sam? Well, no. Nolan, you had a whole, well, discussion with... Do you even wear your shoes? Yes. Okay. I don't know. You're fucking wearing shit. What can I show this? I don't know. You could be not wearing shoes. Yeah. Um. Again, you don't okay, need like, to worry I about, uh, about time. moving your tokens and stuff. I'm just... For myself curious like are you huddled here together at like this area like discussing this well, or are you walking and talking just like kind well, of walking uh, around the fair and talking to each other we sat down at a bench somewhere yeah. okay i think we're all just gathered around us yeah one of the many like resting places just a wooden bench uh okay mm -hmm. hey, nice hey guys i know this is a terrible time but have you seen a leprechaun around no. You see um, one? Oh, I'm looking for one. Well, why? Uh, someone asked me to look for him. My okay. brain hurts. <laughs> Just don't think. Me. Like, that's it. Uh, Shut down. Uh, Stop thinking. How old is Snow? Well, how old does she look? Uh, how does she look? I mean, do you know how Tieflings looks her age? Uh, me personally, yes. Oh. Uh, the she Dragonborn? Looks... Probably not. Yeah, well, the Dragonborn doesn't know. Ash probably looks pretty young. 20s, maybe. Huh. Hmm. Hmm. This is all very confusing. Yeah, who is this person, by the way? <laughs> um, my name is Snow. Uh, I, thank you for looking after my father. He, 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 he said you were traveling companions. Your um, father. He's unfortunately, yes, he's unfortunately got some memory issues. Um, but it seems to be slowly coming back into it. Isn't that right, Dad? Like, I it, do have a uh, Yes, it, it, I, I think so. Yes. Snow. Yes? What is your father's name? Tomar. What did it say? Tomar. Tomar? Yes. Well, what did you think it was? Is he introducing himself uh, as, as Liam wizard. again? No. A wizard. Just Not wizard. just wizard. Ah, uh, he really Wait. was following the book. Then that's the name of the character from the book. Liam. Liam? 
I think. Yeah, Nissan. I think he randomly <laughs> said a Liam word one day. Ah, uh, maybe. He, he has called himself that before. He used to have a, uh, an old research buddy by the, that name. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. He keeps mentioning a lot that he is looking for a fairy. You know anything about that? His research buddy was a fairy. Whose name was Liam? Uh, supposedly, I have never met him. My father was long done with the study of magic by the time I came along. I'm pretty sure he mentioned it was a girl. He also said that he had a son earlier. I, I don't know what to tell you. Um, if I knew how to cure my father's mind, I would. Fortunately, I'm a, I'm just a humble bard. So how did you two meet? Uh, my mother gave birth to me and... <laughs> No, why are you in this carnival right here? Oh, we don't know uh, much about Wizard. He never really like told us his name, uh, where he's from, or anything. We live over at uh, Ishi Point's way on over past the river. We live over there. Um, I thought that he might come to the carnival. Uh, he's been missing for a few days, and uh, he wrote me this book when I was a little... Just a little wee, wee nipper. Um, but in this, it says they go to a festival, so... It was a crapshoot, but I thought, I thought uh, he might come here anyway, and then I was planning to travel to the nearby villages. That's what this backpack's for. Yeah, we're sort of on a quest right now. Yes, yes, your friends have told me. Um, if you give me just less than an hour, I'll I'll take Father home, and uh, I'd be willing to accompany you. Um, I'm looking for adventure myself uh, to expand my horizons. It's what my father did when he was young, and uh, I, I I feel bad leaving his debts unpaid. He said he wanted to do it for you. Well, a dead fellow named Clive, but uh, I, I surmise that's you. Yes, and I'm not dead. Yes, and apparently not called Clive, but uh, that doesn't surprise me. Um, father, he does it, look like a Clive. <laughs> he does. He does. He's quite, quite a handsome chap for a dead man. Damn. But uh, I, I, I'll, t I'll take him home here, and uh, I will meet you here within the hour if, if, if you wish. If you're, if you're okay. I mean, Sam's already agreed, but I, I don't know about the rest yeah, of you. Uh, I didn't even realize that uh, there was a dragonborn with you. This is more of a family thing. I'm not going to get into it. If Wizard allows it, or your mother, I have no problem. No, as long as you don't. It's up to you. You're, you're traveling companions, and you know, I'm an adult. And uh, Wizard's just like, yeah, if, if it's to broaden your horizons, it's always a good thing. Um, but yes, I, I do believe it's time I, I went home. This has all been very taxing on me. I, I'm not... Uh, I mean, first you were dead, and now you're not dead, and... Then I had a son, now I have a daughter, and apparently I have a wife I thought that was past, and uh, quite, quite, I, 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 I want to go home. And she just, he just puts his arm around his daughter, and then she goes, hey, yes, um, I'm, I'm going to take him home. Like I said, I'll be back within the hour where we live very near, but close by. Uh, it was a pleasure to meet you all, and I hope to travel with you again. Um, if you're still here within the hour, I will see you then. So we come with you just in case he wants off his own room. I, I can escort him. He's, it's literally like, and she, like, uh, let's say we're on the other side here. She points across that river bend. She goes, We're literally just over there. Well, good to meet okay. you. Um, yes, very nice to meet you. Uh, and she uh, waits for a name. Hey. Like. I mean, as, as I said, uh, my name is uh, Snow. Indeed. And uh, I bid you all adieu for now. And uh, pleasure. She she takes her father by her hand and escorts him out of the carnival. No, good luck. Seriously, what the fuck happened while I was gone? <laughs> You've been gone yeah. for six years. A lot of things <laughs> happened. There's another Star Wars film. It was bad. I, 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 I was laying on the ground. So there was another Star Trek season. Crackles. It was bad. As uh, Snow and Wizard start walking away, do you guys uh, start heading into the main carnival road as well, I guess? Or are you just uh, hanging out? Uh, I'm mostly looking for a leprechaun, Chris. Okay. <laughs> Can I roll perception or something? Uh, I'll tell you if your passive perception picks something up, and then you can roll to see if you can spot something. All right. I'm not going to be like, you're in a new zone. Make a perception check. Like every uh, every zone. All right. So where do you guys want to go? Mm. 
great contribution for me all. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I get a lot of the Pixie King is kind of rad, and you get to be small. How about the Illusion Hall? See what Tom minds. Yes, the there. Illusion Hall. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, <laughs> Sorry, guys. Just in case you didn't see this, look at this. <laughs> Well, what is it? I'd stare at the Cyclops. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that is the um, that is the main like named uh, attractions on the map, and then uh, between all the main attractions, <laughs> there are small stalls, the ones that don't have like names near them, which you can check out as well. They're mainly like carnival games and stuff like that. Out there, the Cyclops is one of those games. <laughs> So you're aware, but yeah, uh, you start uh, you start walking and talking. Uh, Snow and Wizard, you are uh, heading outside of the uh, outside of the carnival to uh, yeah. bring Wizard back home. On your way outside, uh, walking across the main uh, the main road of the carnival, a uh, a twelve foot tall walking tree, uh, garlanded in golden ribbons, marches down the thoroughfare. Emerald clouds swirl above the tree and rain down golden spinning sycamore seeds. Uh, you see fair goers trying to catch these seeds before they, uh, before they hit the ground. As the seeds gently fall, a chatty squirrel scampers along the boughs of the tree, handing dandelions to select passers-by. Okay. <laughs> do, you, do you go for one of these seeds to catch it? Um... I feel like Snow would definitely do that because she's whimsical, like like sort of shit. Uh, but she's pretty busy. Uh, Are you gonna grab that seed? I'm gonna have Wizard try to grab one for his daughter. Okay, it is a dexterity check. Okay. Should have made it the bard, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, ability check. Not bad. A uh, thirteen. Um, you uh. Wizard catches a seat before it touches the ground. Uh, roll me a d8. d8. He turns into a tree. A one. Um. <laughs> I have to go in nine minutes. Jay, you grab the seat. This is not really gonna go into come into play that much because wizard is going home but wizard grabs the seat and because of the seat he gets uh, a gift and the gift is uh the creature or player gains the following personality trait until dawn i am easily amused okay so, so wizard just becomes easily <laughs> amused after picking up the seat until dawn fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> well, when I get home, Chris, I'm going to just basically have Wizard be like, because I haven't really thought much about their home life. Um, give her a few items that he's picked up, like the bracelet and stuff, and then just to wish her luck on her journey. Okay. And uh, the rest of you, as you are uh, walking and talking through the carnival, Wizard and uh, Snow departed, you also see this tree going around, spreading its seed. You can also attempt to catch uh, one of these, or not. It is completely up to you. It is a dex check if you want to try to uh, grab a seed before it hits the ground. I'm good. I'll do it. Oh, oh. Oh, a nine. A nine. That nine. is sadly not good enough. And Nolan, a 17. That is absolutely good enough. Roll me a d8 to see what you get. Five. Uh, a five. Uh, you grab the seat, and magically in your hand, it turns into a gold piece. <sighs> I know what I wanted. And uh, the, the squirrel skitters out of the tree, comes towards you, Sam, and hands you a dandelion. Thank you. Uh, the, the squirrel speaks to you in common. Um... He actually it, it hands you a dandelion seat, not a dandelion. And he's like, uh, um, You can make a wish if you blow uh, your dandelion seat into the air. Enjoy! And it scatters back up the tree. Okay, I guess I'll make a wish. Okay. So. Give me one of these seeds. The player should secretly write down their, their wish on a piece of paper. And I need to collect um, these notes and keep them somewhere safe. So I guess uh, just whisper it to me would be the easiest way of doing this. 
Uh, these wishes become relevant in a later chapter. Just those who did the thing, or everyone? Uh, just uh, for uh, Sam for now. But you do see uh, the squirrel skittering around this uh, big walking tree, like handing uh, dandelion seeds to just at random people at the crowd. You can uh, you can attempt to like uh, make your way to the crowd and like stand close enough to the tree so that the squirrel gives you a seed as well, if you would like to do that. Or you as the uh, fairy like flutter up to it. Did no, I I'm good. Yeah, you sent, you sent me hi. Is that okay. your wish? Saying hello to no, the no, game no, master? No, 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 no. <laughs> Uh, yeah, anybody else want to interact with the tree or the squirrel? Uh, I've already sure. got a cold coin out of it. Yeah, I uh. think Luna would attempt to catch a seat. <laughs> 17. A 5, also a gold piece. Wonder... Man, this place is really magical. <laughs> wow, so magical. Alright. Hmm. NPC seats don't have a spot for money. Why oh, put money in that sheet? Put it in my sheet, Chris. <laughs> oh, an eye. Nice. Is that too much stress, I guess? Oh, now I'm curious. He wants big, he wants big burly biceps. <laughs> it's like one word, what am I... <laughs> Muscles. Do you what? want that to happen to something? Is that an item you, you're wishing for? Nah, I'll pick up one. Be more specific. What is your wish? I hmm. wish for infinite wishes. Uh, Blass rolled a 17, a success on grabbing the seat, and an 8. Uh, the creature or player gains a die, a d8, which it can add to one ability check it makes before the next dawn. So pretty much like a bardic inspiration kind of deal but you get uh, you get a d8 you can add to one ability check before the next day right you time, bless. To <laughs> time to seduce sam oh hmm. he finally has the ability to seduce sam yeah and i've got that d8 that'll help a lot i'm not charismatic at all actually wait until i'm there <laughs> i can give you bardic inspiration ah! <laughs> So are you just fully in a place in wizard? Yeah. Alright, we're gonna roll a Why? train on Sam. Yeah, so Blast, you reach out, you open your hand, a seed falls in your open palm, it turns into an eight-sided dice and then just whew, sinks into your hand like a ghostly uh, dice. <laughs> okay, cool. And you said you had to go soon, right? <laughs> I said I had to go in nine minutes. minutes. Five minutes ago. <laughs> okay. So, uh, I think uh, it's a good place to call it. You have done a bit in the carnival. You have more carnival to explore. Uh, Snow oh, has, has went and uh, taken a wizard back home. Back to his old folks' home. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Sam, have a little think about what your wish can be. And uh, message it me or something so I can write it down somewhere. Because it comes into play apparently later on. And there are uh, there are things that have been happening, as uh, Makaro has pointed out, the corner things. There are things that I'm keeping track of, like certain trackers of what, when you interact with the right thing, it like triggers. It counts as a tracker point for the uh, players, which will uh, result in something at the end of all this. But that's a surprise. But I am uh, I am keeping track of things to the best of my abilities. And I've, I've got an idea of one. Okay. I'm just writing it down. Yeah. I should really put a sentence. But I wanted to do more carnival. <laughs> more carnival. Uh, there is definitely more carnival left to do. 
But there is something I want to research before we get too deep into this. And we've been playing for two hours, so I think this is a good point of calling it. <laughs> Fair enough. Excuse. Okay, <laughs> uh, yeah, I think there's one word in your sentence there that is uh, misspelled that I can't quite get what it means, Aiden. But I'll, I'll ask you about it when uh, the others aren't here, because they, they're not allowed to know. <laughs> Oh, it, will, it won't come true if you tell somebody. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, uh, it's Guy, Chris. It's the gay, it's Guy Sex. Ah, uh, okay, okay. I see. Uh, pause. So that the time doesn't keep going. Uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. I liked, uh, uh especially a lot of, um, roleplay today. You guys actually talking to each other as the characters. I'm a uh, big fan of that. Uh, and there is more, uh, more carnival, more random events that are gonna happen in this carnival. And perhaps travel to a different plane at the end of this. But uh, that's for the future. Anything uh, you guys have to want to add or anything like that? Yeah. Wizard is gone. Yeah. Wizard is gone. <laughs> Why are you so sad about that? I don't know. <laughs> you for like three days. <laughs> yeah, come back from the dead. <laughs> and now the wizard is gone. Him, to be honest. You knew him for a day and a half, really, because you died. <laughs> yeah. Hey, to be honest, okay, he was the most talkative and funny person out of this whole group. Snow is going to be fun. She's also going to be incredibly dense because she has a wisdom score of seven. Yeah. Well, I do, she's going to be get, She's going to walk into so many traps. <laughs> I, did really, uh, I did really like Nolan that you were like, well, why is everybody acting so weird? I'm alive. I'm back. Because the way I described it to you was like, you didn't you didn't really realize that you died. You just like, fisherman black, and then you came back in like, uh, Luna's arms. And you never really like, brought up that you might have considered that you died. So I found that pretty interesting. Yeah. I mean, I probably would have known that I died, but... I'm not like telling the others, oh, I may have spoken to my god. I'm gonna and, go uh, so crazy like that. Yeah, and behind the scenes, like, uh, wizard going up in the bubble is what made uh, what made Snow, the, the daughter, like, mm. spot him. She was like, oh, look who's there in the bubble. Like, um, fucking dead. <laughs> well, well, well. dementia riddle dad. Yeah. yeah. Still so confused about it. That him. must have been weird, though, because yeah. <laughs> if, if he saw... She, she, saw... she saw the bubbles merge, yes. Yeah, and then saw him get on <laughs> top of me. <laughs> and me trying to keep him off me. <laughs> and then we just walk to the floor. <laughs> hey, she may have misunderstood when you tried to keep him off you. Good night. <laughs> right. Good night, Good night. Good night. Huh? Don't worry. Like Snow is going to be like just pretty much wizard without the, without the memory loss. And a lot more naive. So Normally, why did you like change? Did you get tired of Wizard? Uh, I, I thought his backstory was too sad, and I kind of wanted to try a Bard because Bard. I wanted to play a character that was more fun because I'm always playing characters that are like they have the serious backstory, and then they, <laughs> they redeem themselves. And I was like, what if I just play a character that just wants to have fun and adventure? That'd be fun. <laughs> what about a character that's like, Lovely. Uh, they were in is like, uh, I want to go in here and eat all the marshmallows in this room, and I'm like, yeah, let's go fucking eat the marshmallows. <laughs> <laughs> they were poisoned. Oh well. Oh no. Oh well. I passed uh, everything. Well, in the circle. I'll see you guys uh, next time. Bye bye. Norm normally, I do bye. experience per like monster you defeat, or if like something happens, like the orb and stuff like that. In this case, because uh -huh. you're at a carnival doing like games, you're gonna get like experience per event that I okay. am gonna like calculate between uh, the sessions. So uh, starting next session, like I did at this one, I'm gonna tell you guys like you've earned so much XP since last time. <laughs> okay. I've uh, pretty much transferred over, like, not every fucking badge that I wanted that fucking mini game or something, but I, you know, I gave, like, a wooden doll of Strad to my daughter. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and, like, uh, the stone that I got and the, the beans and all that shit. Yeah, your uh, character sheet of wizard is gonna stay existing. He might, like, come into play at some point oh, as, a, as an NPC or something. Yeah. You never know, but also for your items and stuff that are on that sheet, they, they won't mm -hmm. just disappear. Yeah, like, uh, Snow's, like, in the back of her mind, her main goal is going to be like, I wonder if I can fix my dad's memory problems. You know, if I get one of those wishes, that's pretty much what it's going to be. That sort of thing, you know. Okay, cool. Um, normally, we will be back next Friday. Yeah. Bye-bye. Fuck off. <laughs>